In this video we're going to talk about where to use website content that you've created um, because it actually isn't as obvious as it originally sounds. The web itself revolves around content. It's articles, videos like this one, tweets, Facebook updates, forum posts and lots and lots of other things. And this video is going to con concentrate on where you should use the main content you created. So I'm going to assume it's something like an article or a video. And the most important place is put it on your own website, even though you're probably watching this on YouTube at the moment. And that really should be your own website, one where you own the domain and you pay for the hosting. Because whilst it's tempting to use free sites such as Squidoo and Blogspot and lots of others, you shouldn't rely on them for your main internet business. Otherwise you're laying yourself open to all sorts of potential issues as you've relinquished control over this really, really important aspect of your business. If it's your own domain, chances are you'll be using WordPress to look after the day-to-day -day running of it. It's a good solution, it's cheap or even free, because you don't necessarily need to pay for any premium options with it. And being a cheapskate, I tend to personally use the free side of things whenever possible, and that works really well. And depending on your preferred website, WordPress website structure, your content should be added either as a page, and that's typically pages you want to be readily available from anywhere on your site, or as a post, which is ongoing information like I did this. I'll show you on my website for that. So those are pages, and then the blog leads to this, and because it's the most recent thing, it's there, and then there's a read more. So that's where I've done it. And that's the structure works well for me. Um, Google doesn't really care about those two different methods. It's more for your convenience and how you structure and organize things. And once you've added the content to your own site, there are various other things that you can do with it. Currently my preferred method is post it on my own site or an article directory such as Easy and Articles, and I'll explain why I do that a bit later in this video. Then I copy the article into Microsoft Word, format it, and turn it into something that looks a bit like a slideshow or PowerPoint presentation, much as you can see here. I'll then upload it to one of various document sharing sites, ones like SlideShare, DocStock or Script are the three that I tend to use, and vary these between those for no real reason other than I don't like to be dependent on just one of them. And then I'll use the Word document as the basis for a video, start up a screen capture program, read the article out exactly as I'm doing here, and once it's rendered, because it takes a while for that to happen, I'll upload it to YouTube add a description with links back to my site and then an annotation as well. So you'll see an annotation around about here on the screen that says click here for whatever. Um, and if I remember I'll also upload the raw words so that YouTube can do a better job of captions than the automated system that they use by default, but I tend to not remember that. Probably should do it, but don't always. And for me that's it. I'll then move on to the next piece of content or whatever else I'm doing. Sometimes I'll also embed the video in a post. This one will be embedded in the post I showed you just earlier once it's rendered. Obviously, recording the video at the moment, so I can't do that. Uh, one reason I switch between my own site and Easy Articles is traffic. Because much as I'd love to think that my site has authority in Google, that's not really the case, or isn't the case yet, one of those two. It takes what seems like absolutely forever for Google to put posts into the search results and send traffic to them, whereas Easy Articles sends me traffic almost immediately. Um, see that from my stats during the last 30 days when I was recording this video Easy and Articles have sent me twice as many visitors as YouTube sorry YouTube and three times as many visitors as Google, Bing and Yahoo combined uh, so I could put this article on Easy and Articles as well as my own site and some successful marketers do suggest doing that but personal preference is to create separate unique content for their site as opposed to mine Part of the reason for doing that is that Easy Articles encourage republishing of their content and despite its best efforts Google doesn't always figure out the original source of the content. It it says it can but it, it, there's so many confusions and it's only a computer. Uh, so if the article was written specifically for Easy Articles I don't particularly care if the source is credited to Easy Articles or one of the other sites that's republished it. But I would care if it was published on my own site first and then Google decided the republished version was the original. Could just be me being paranoid. Your decision on that one. At least you know now why I do it. My target for creating content is to create one post for my 
um, blog and then place it on document sharing and turn it into a video and then one article on easy articles again turn into a document and a video I don't always hit that target and during 2013 the ratio is probably closer to two or three articles on easy articles for every one I put on my own site during 2014 onwards I tend to get closer to the one to one ratio but the main trick for all of this is to create content regularly which brings us neatly onto the call to action which is if you'd like more help with creating content for your website check out my content creation crash course it's li linked from below this video thanks for watching